and hello and welcome to another exterior video where I work on my truck sometimes I'm successful sometimes I'm not and on today's video I'm gonna be working on some upgrades for my truck again something that I, I'm very excited about approximately last year I changed my radiator from my stock radiator to Kyurat radiator this is basically the safest option and maybe the cheapest maybe not the cheapest but it's a safe cheap budget friendly good way to go to replace the radiator to eliminate any issue with the, the milkshake of death when the transmission fluid mixes with the antifreeze and then your transmission pretty much fried so i had that radiator for about a year it was working fine but i always wanted to have something else in there and after looking around and actually first time i saw this radiator i did not even know about this company until i i saw it on my friend's truck he has a full aluminum three row radiator so that's what i got guys i couldn't help myself i already opened the box before <laughs> i just was so excited so look at this it's a fully aluminum no plastic parts anywhere comes with even a cup that's pretty cool full aluminum three row radiator cannot wait to put it in and test it to see what the temperature difference gonna be i did some testing with this radiator i hook up my obd readers to monitor the temperature cannot wait to put this one in and do it all over again and see compare the difference in temperature so now let's take it out take a look at it and then i'm gonna start disassembling everything in my truck all right so let's take this stuff out and let's pull this out carefully just look at this guys it's a fully aluminum radiator welded all the way around just look at that radiator doesn't it look nice i'm very excited to put it in like i said i had no idea about this about this company before but they actually have a lot of different radiators for different makes and models i'm gonna include the link in the description and actually i contacted the company and they provided the discount code so anyone watching this and subscribed to the channel can go click the link and then use this discount code and you guys can get it uh, with a hopefully a good discount so the radiator looks pretty good i just checked it doesn't seem to have any damage uh, hopefully nothing is damaged of course but i don't know if the camera will show it or not but i'm gonna attach the picture if you look close enough in there you will see that it has three rows so that's pretty cool so this company is Aloya works they have all kind of radiators different types of trucks cars and models and uh, they also have electric fans and some other stuff so so if you're in the market for something just just check them out so now i'm gonna start disassembling my truck draining the fluid removing my old radiator and it's gonna be a time to put a new one in so first i'm gonna remove my battery it's gonna be very easier to remove the radiator gonna remove these four clips so we can pull this back and remove two bolts here and here so we can remove this bracket and then i'm gonna take my air and take out gonna drain the fluid and we can start unbolting the radiator and removing the hose all right and they are out so now this can be pushed back there you go and now we have access to this bolt and to this bolt now we're gonna remove these two clamps and this one now we're gonna remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and then we have two more 10 millimeters underneath We can remove this hose. And this bolt is out. So now we can take this apart and take this out. There you go. So now I'm gonna remove my battery. And let's take it out completely. So now I just have to remove my skid plate so I have a better access to all the hoses down there and drain the fluid once i drain the fluid we can disassemble all of this and pull this out so now it's just a big flat screwdriver we can unscrew this plug over here and drain all the antifreeze out there we go now we can open this so it drains better now just with channel locks we can undo the top hose clamp and the hose is out and we can remove the overflow tank hose and let's set this on the side now we can remove the two bolts over here the holding a fan shroud and remove that as well with a 10 millimeter ratchet now we can un unclip this connection over here for the fan remove the wire 
from over here as well there you go and this is out as well now before we move the shroud we need to unclip this hose from over here and from over here now because i already don't have the lower part i remove it when i did the body lift so now the shroud should come up easy now there is another 10 millimeter bolt over here we can remove that that way we can remove the fan the electric fan and then we can remove the shroud it's easier to do it that way and then to put it back first we're gonna put the shroud and then we're gonna slide the fan in so let's pull the fan out first maybe eventually i can replace the fan as well because i have only one fan maybe eventually i can get something better and now let's pull the shroud out now we just have these two brackets to remove and this bolt over here and a bolt over here holding the radiator to the condenser and we can pull the radiator out so once again with a 10 millimeter and this is 10 millimeter as well now because we have a transmission fluid going through the radiator getting cooled off uh, we have to disconnect this hose and this hose i'm gonna try to plug them off so no transmission fluid comes out and then we're ready to pull out the radiator and this end i'm just gonna try to plug it in with this simple plug just what's left is to disconnect the lower hose move a bucket over here because it's gonna drain from over here as well so now we can separate the radiator from the condensator and let's take it out carefully all right <laughs> it's out <laughs> okay the radiator is out and this is our brand new radiator so let's just take a closer look at them and the differences and then i'm gonna start reinstalling the new radiator but this is basically just a reverse procedure so just put everything back together connect all the hoses add the antifreeze bleed the system and it's done then i'm gonna run some tests but for now let's look at it closer so this is our Kyrat radiator and this is our brand new by aloe works three row fully aluminum radiator and if you look at them just look at this one and look at this one this is much wider so we should get more cooling performance and as you can see it's fully welded over here and over here and this one it's a plastic part on top and on the bottom and in a lot of cases this starts leaking and a matter of fact i don't know actually now that i look closer i don't know why i have a green like green looking residue over here in the corner i have nothing over here but i have some green residue over here in the corner so now i'm concerned if this was leaking because to be honest i had to add antifreeze at one point a little bit not a whole lot but i did have to add it and i was concerned why but now that i look at this who knows maybe it was evaporating through here wow surprised i'm kind of a little bit surprised and actually as i'm working on my truck right now replacing my radiator my friend and fellow youtuber maximum DIY garage he's replacing his radiator because his radiator started to leak he's replacing his radiator for kyrad radiator he had a stock radiator and it started leaking i'm also going to leave his link to his channels in descriptions so, so just go guys check him out he makes a lot of nice videos about exterior and some other cars as well so if you like cars go check him out now the only thing these brackets i had to open them up because the radiator is wider so it can fit over this but other than that so far everything looks okay and as you can see i somewhat tried to clean it and 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 i actually tried to refurbish these brackets um of course you could go and buy new ones but they're like 150 dollars for two of them all i did just sand it off and paint sprayed it <laughs> so it's still good it's still good all right and the brackets are in place so now just carefully gonna put it there in place and start securing it all right and whenever you put the radiator back just take your time and be careful with it and with all the stuff that might be in the way
and just like that carefully work your way and try to bring it where it's supposed to be all right after a little bit of a wiggle the new radiator is in so now it's time to put the fan and a shroud in so first we're gonna slide the shroud inside and now I'm gonna slide the fan inside so now let's get our overflow hose in place now let's connect our top hose all right and that is in place as well let's not forget to connect our cable for the fan let's put the air box back in place and now we can mount the air intake as well now before connecting the oil cooler lines i would recommend to put some uh, rtv on those threads and tighten this on both ends just to be on the safe side flashback and as i told you guys don't rush to assemble everything and start it up <laughs> as you can see i have a little leak from there one of the transmission lines i forgot to put a clamp on so as soon as i started it leaked a little bit but no big deal i shut it off put a clamp back in place and now we're bleeding the air out now another modification that I had to do because of this cap and because of this filler neck is higher than the other radiators there is multiple ways to modify this some people lower the radiator or they change the cap maybe because without this cap the radiator closes fine but you still need a cap here anyway so so what I did I just I just slightly hammered that part over there so it clears it the hood is still fine there is nothing wrong with it so just hammered this and painted this so now the hood closes fine all right guys in the installation of our brand new fully aluminum three row radiator is done the system is clear of air and and all the fluids have been topped off so everything is good now and i've been running the truck already for quite some time i drove around it i did some tests to keep an eye on the temperature and on average i got between 10 to 15 degrees cooler performance right now the weather is actually about the same as the day i was testing my previous radiator so that's somewhat the same i left the truck running idling for an hour again i drove around i drove on a highway on a highway it actually performed savings better than my kyrat radiator the temperature never passed 200 degrees unlike my kyrat so i think that's a big success and there is nothing dripping or leaking anywhere so that's pretty good yes there is certain modification needs to be done in order to feed it because it's slightly bigger but nothing major anybody can do it i'm pretty sure so i'm very happy that i finally have this good fully aluminum radiator so hopefully it's gonna last me a long time it's not gonna break not gonna leak or anything but that should be good as always i'm gonna leave all the links in the description guys i'm gonna leave the link to the website and to the radiator itself uh it might be out of stock so it might not be on the website but uh, i'm gonna always update it just keep an eye on it and i'm also gonna leave the discount code so hopefully that's gonna help you out guys as well so on this note i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you might find it helpful and as always until next time everybody bye